decide that at that time, the first cause in the Western world of death from cancer was the lung. And so in this case, I mean, was the better to go uh, straight to that uh, matter to um, go in depth for that kind of studies. In the 90s, the FDA was giving a, a blessing for the first monoclonal antibody. The treatment against cancer for the common and uh, that uh, was approved the year after uh, the accepting monoclonal antibody for the treatment of metastatic breast cancer. And then we are in the last decade. The group of uh, working uh, in the MCI with Rosenberg and others were well, able to prove that two kinds of new cells, that the CD4 and the CD8 cells, that were required for the treatment against cancer. And at the same time, we were able to show that TLP and TLP, so one just an entire body could be of clinical equivalence for, for every diagnosis of no small cell lung cancer. And uh, so we go to the second step. Uh, we saw A and O C B on the studies for therapeutic medicine. The tumor cell antigens resulting from protein bits are so not any longer all the same treated uh, chemically or uh, by uh, X-ray, but uh, the protein bits or from specific peptides that were synthesized straight from the cancer tissue could be useful, used as vaccine to mount a vigorous anti-tumor attack. At that time, we were able to use the competence of the hospital laboratory with the Marsh and the Harlem on the, the uh, super uh, vision of people uh, uh, um, in Watson. And so, I mean, at that time, we were uh, able to see that uh, we could uh, go at this point uh, straight to molecular biology. And so, I mean, to postulate that uh, the development of a vaccine approach for the very and application. Uh, could be something more lesser and could be, as we say, more, there were more possibilities. At this point, uh, we go back uh, to the cell as uh, uh, the basic uh, cellular response to cancer. And uh, as you know, especially Dr. Ronald Herberman, at the time was uh, the director of the Tumor Institute in Pittsburgh. He was able to show that the living cell is an immune cell that presents a specific antigen that are taken from tumor cells to the other CD4 or CD8 cells that we saw. There were already the studies at NCI concerning the, the group of Rosenberg and the, the mediators like the Lepins number two. It, um, this kind of cell, especially CD4, what I call the uh, director of the immune orchestra, well, was able this cell to uh, release uh, mole molecules and cytopigmentators that has uh, to activate the response of the CD8 cells, prompting them to attack other cells with the same antigen. On this, uh, uh, I mean, uh, View. We go back to for this, uh, the late uh, strategies for the therapeutic vaccine. And the same cells, the dendritic cells for cancer patients, are now are removed and loaded with antigens from the tumor. The dendritic cells go outside the body and then are injected. And they, they are able to trigger a powerful response by the cells. Of course, I mean, this. Uh, only two years ago, that we approved the first therapy of cancer vaccine for advanced prostate cancer. So we start from a vaccine against viral cancer, and then we are now at a therapy cancer vaccine for cancer. 
so we start from and